uh, starting at intermediate level throws for our curriculum. This is the first throw, the blue belt level. This is going to be a hip, uh, it's a, it's a hip wheel. And this one, the same standard grip. From here, I step in, I'm going to pull him off balance and forward. Get my hip in deep. I'm going to pull him over. Throw him down. Again, for this angle. Here, I'm going to step in. I want balance. Over the head. And down. Okay, so the next row for blue belt is going to be the uh, small outer reef. There's a couple variations I'll show you on this as well, too. So in this one, again, standard grip. And here's I want to pull the first one. I'm just going to do, it's basically an outer leg trip, similar to what we did at the white belt level. I'm going to step in, get locked. From here, I'm going to pull and pull down. So basically, as I lock and step, Push them down, basically, real simple. This angle, take a little step in, push his weight kind of back off to his left backside, lock here, and down. Now, another variation of it as well, too. I'm going to pull him forward. See how his weight goes forward? Now, I'm going to actually shift his weight a little to the back so it takes more of his weight off this foot. I'm going to step forward, even L step if I want. Now his weight back there and his weight off of this foot. And down. So get another angle back. From here, draw him off balance. Step, get yourself in position, shift weight, and down. Okay, we're gonna go for one more small reef. This is gonna be a small inner reef now. Again, this could be an inner leg trip. Just watch yourself when you when you trip you lock this and pull it up. This leg could swing into, the, into your groin area. Pull forward, so it gets off his weight. Now I'm going to take a little cheat step, push his weight back so it gets light. Trip here, down. Notice that it pulls his foot up, go to 45 degree angle. Pull him off balance, step in. And I have one more, uh, one more variation I like on this personally. It makes it a little more powerful. It's a more explosive technique. That's more just a pure trip. This actually launches your opponent a little bit. So you're, what you're going to do is you're going to pull him off balance. Let's get a little closer. You're going to pull him off balance here. Drop this foot back just a little bit. You're going to do is you're going to shuffle step in, go for the trip, and you're going to explode into it. So again, this kind of goes into when you're in your walking throws. So everything stays very tight. Explode into it. Come off balance. So again, from this angle, I'm going to draw him forward. You get the right amount of explosion, you can see he's going he's gonna to fall down. Okay, so the next uh, technique for blue belt level this is where it starts to get a little bit more wrestling oriented, but it's used a lot in judo and hop keto as well, too. It's going to be a double leg takedown. There's a lot of variations on this. Some people like to get down and spear into their opponent. Some people want to drop the knee down and take their opponent down. Some of the keys on this is don't go with your head down. If you go down with your head, you're going to get guillotined. When you get into this, keep up high. Keep up as high as you can. Grab the legs and drive them down. So for this purpose, I'm going to go my head on this side. I'm going to try to Steve O as I do this. For this technique, we can do it from a grip position, but if we're both gripping each other. If I don't break this grip off, <clears throat> I try to go down, you can be able to sprawl him. So key here is you can, from here, you take him down. So again, you gotta break that grip. Even if you're squared off, get in, go down. It's from a different angle. So again, from here, release my grip, bend down low. Over here, even if you want to step, he's going to go down. Now, another variation is more of a tra traditional wrestling type of stance. I'm going to go from here, I'm going to bend my front knee down to the floor. I'm going to step up from the, from the side. I'm going to drill off my, off my foot and push him over. So he goes more to the side. 
Bien. So now we'll move into our brown belt throws. This throw is done a number of different ways. We're going to do a single leg takedown. I like to think of it as an ankle pick as well. Get down low enough, you can pick the ankle or you can pick behind the front knee. So in this one, and get on the, on the regular part of the lapel. You can go high if you want to. I can do it right here because I can push into the chest, I do it. Here I can step in, I'll pull here, and push there. It's actually a trip. Different angle, and here, down. Now some of the variations you can do as well on this one, come from here, I can hold the arm up, and go to the inside. A little more difficult, I like going to the outside. Okay, the next throw for the round belt level is going to be hip sweep, or sweeping hip throw, whichever one you want to call it. So this one, I'm going to introduce into coming in and using my body motion as part of the throw. So keep in mind, when you're doing this, you're not actually sweeping him with your leg. Using your leg as this basic leverage to help move the body over, okay? So again, this one, Having off balance is very important. See how he falls forward? You want to get up high because it's going to help you as a throw. A lot of people like to use a high lapel grab when they do this. Some people may even go around the head, similar to what we did in the hip wheel. Go around the head with this as well, too. For purposes here, just to make it easier, and for safety, I'm going to go from a high, a high lapel grab. And this one, I step in. Again, it's the center line. You go just a tad past the center line. Here. I'm going to turn my body down, see how he's already moving forward. Again, as we're doing this here, slow your throw. Don't slam your partner down. It's a self-defense situation, it's a whole different story. Another angle. Up. Get in, pull him close, he needs to be close to your body. So now this is one of the most difficult but most popular judo throws. You'll see this if you look at the judo in the Olympics or high level judo, you'll notice this throw a lot. This is going to be what's known in Japanese as the uchimata, or it's an inner thigh, uh, inner thigh reaping throw. There's a lot of variations of this. Try different ways, work with your partners on it, you're going to find a way that's going to work best for you. I personally like going right down the middle. Again, practicing with your partner here. Careful the groin. For you bigger guys, it's going to be a little short, short like Sunny. Get down low. The idea in this one is you need to get your weight down and throw the leg back. The leg should not do the throw for you on this version. There's some that attack, traditional style attacks this thigh. I want to go after here or the midline. Going to the, in, going to the inside leg can sometimes just be more of a, more of a reaping throw. There's a different way to get it. If you miss the throw, you can pop them up and put them down. So this purpose here, again, Get him off balance, get him up high. You need to get him into a position where he's going over as you throw this. So again, this, this is where the center line is most important. See bottom parts of the triangle, high part of the triangle. Try to stay on your what's gonna be gonna be your, your, your throwing foot. Maybe hair off the center line or right on the center line. From here, you're gonna turn, get this plant foot close, get up. High here. You grip, step high. I'm going to load him on my hip. I'll do more of a hip variation. And down. Okay, the next one we're going to do is going to be the, uh, the body drop. This isn't necessarily a throw, it's more of a drop. This one a good, a good unbalancing is necessary for this to work. Just like the inner thigh throw, center line, just off of it, or some people will even step all the way over. From here, get your turn, and this foot is going to be off the ground. See how his body's already falling off balance? When I set up, I want to be just off of me because this is more of a trip.
single. One step, bottom center line. This one's here. And down. So the next throw of the brown belt series is going to be the monkey flip, or the official name, the circular throw. So this is one where I'm going to get a good grip on Sunny. I'm going to do a double lapel grip with this one. You put your foot on your stomach, you're going to roll back and throw them over. So this one I'll do a little bit slower. You want you can take a step back, you can pull them into you as you do it. Here, I'm going to sit down, put a foot here. We'll do it from this angle now as well too. So this will be the final throw of the brown belt series. It's the most advanced throw before we start the black belt throws. So we're going to do the fireman's carry, which is also known as a shoulder wheel. So in this one, I'm going to literally pull Sunny off balance. I'm going to load him on my shoulders. Now from here and over. So again, this one, off balance. Now from here and down. Now from a different angle. Pull them off balance. Yeah. 